Hello everyone! Now I know you're clicking on this video wondering what in the world is going on. I'm just gonna let you know right now right off the bat, I have some amazing news. But before we get to the news, I sincerely want to thank you guys. Each and every single one of you guys. Every single fan that has been showing love and support for the podcast. Um, seriously, you guys, I cannot thank you enough. The growth that we've been able to have, the amount of love and support, the fan art I've been able to see. Like, genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, you guys truly make this podcast absolutely incredible. It's something absolutely special. And I cannot be in this position without you guys, especially with what today's news is about. See, I'm not the only one that has been noticing this amazing growth and love and support that yeah, I got with this community. It is thanks to you guys that I have been recently signed to a brand new production company, Sleuth Studios. Sleuth has been scouring the globe, scouring the web, looking for all different kinds of art, animation, and just true appreciation to help really revitalize the art form as a whole. And they recently approached me about taking steps to make sure that the podcast can be elevated to a completely different level. And I mean, talking with the guys at Sleuth, I mean, I could not get enough of them. They're a bunch of cool guys that I'm sure you guys will be seeing on the podcast at some point. I mean, they're all a bunch of artists as well that really want to see his community grow. And whenever they asked me to be on board, I could not help but say yes more than anything else. Because what they are hoping to do is really help the podcast grow a whole lot more. Really get more of a push so that more people can see it, get more eyes on the product as a whole, get some bigger guests that people might recognize so that we can then turn it around and help grow this community as a whole. Now, what does that mean when it comes to the podcast itself? Really nothing. Like, more than anything else, like I said before, the only major difference is we're going to be getting some bigger name artists on here. Artists that I've been dying to have conversations with more than anything else. And I sincerely think it will be better for you guys as a whole to see some, like, cooler names on the podcast especially pairing them up with some of the you know smaller artists that we tend to have on this podcast like really help it grow ever so infinitely there is gonna be another change um sadly sadly because of their goals at sleuth i have to step away from youtube uh this video is going to be the last video that will be uploaded onto YouTube because the podcast is going to have a new exclusive home for video streaming services. And I sincerely think it's one that while it is unique, I think you guys are going to truly love and enjoy it. So from this point forward, the postmodern art podcast is now exclusively going to be streaming on Quibi. The streaming service is a fantastic idea. I know it kind of put it out in the f before, but the guys at Sleuths, they were able to get the rights and they're going to try to restart it or whatnot. And let me tell you guys right now, like, I I'll be honest, I was skeptical with the idea whenever it was presented to me. But let me tell you right now, it's going to be absolutely incredible, especially when it comes to the presentation more than anything else, to really help that presentation reach its full potential. And, you know... I, I couldn't just present this news on to you guys and then leave you high and dry. So luckily, the guys at Sleuth were more than willing to let me show you guys a clip from the first interview when we debut on Quibi later this year with the ever so fantastic legendary voice actor Patrick Warburton. Now this may look weird right off the bat and that's because this is still like a work in progress, you know, in the editing stages as we speak. But I just could not hold off letting you guys see just how incredible this little, even taste of the conversation I had with Patrick was. Check it out. Obviously, you're known for your very distinct voice. I mean, we're hearing it. The audience is blessed to have it right here on Quibi. But I have to know, like, how do you personally find your voice for certain roles? Because, like, I know some people might say, oh, it's just the same role, same voice over and over again and whatnot. But there are, like, good subtle differences between it. So how do you find a voice for a role? Personally, I, I take time to, you know, sit there and listen to what my directions are telling me, you know, find out what kind of the character's personality is like, you know, you get somebody like, you know, say, for example, you get Kronk. He's a, he's a likable guy. He's a little, 
maybe a little slow on the uptake at times, but, you know, his heart's in the right place. And then at the same time, you know, you get guys like uh, like Brock Sampson, whose voice I actually can't really do anymore. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, his his voice, you have to you have to really uh, you have to really get down low there. And it's a uh, it's a little bit of a challenge there, Doc. I, I imagine. I mean, it, it had to be especially hard hearing how they're they're having that finale movie. Like, did you put it all on the line for that that performance? I assume. Uh, personally, personally, I felt like we all did. I mean, it's not the ideal way to end a series, but we want to give the fans something that is going to be memorable. I, mean, I can only imagine. I mean, I, I would try to, to pry, you know, some sort of potential teaser scene, but, you know, I don't want to break any sort of NDA, and Lord knows Cartoon Network's lawyers will be all over my tail end just by asking, so, you know. Oh, no, trust me. I, I Trust me, I assure you, they, the moment they knew I was going on a podcast, they had snipers on the roof across the street. Ah, you know what? Understandable. Valid, valid, valid. I mean, you would think that with the endless pockets that Quibi would have, especially at this point, you know, they, they'd find some way to pay them off, but you know, some things are left to be impossible, you know? Yeah. Quibi's Quibi's reach is mighty indeed, but you know, there are certain people you don't mess with the mouse, Mm -hmm. Ted Turner. And, uh, that one guy that runs the uh, barbecue joint, uh, downtown from my place. Oh my God. Oh my God. Delicious. Oh man, you, now you just have me hungry. Goodness, why? What? Do you not mess with him because out of respect? Or you not mess with him because of the food? All right. Well, you know I've got a little bit of exper- a little experience working with uh, Jerry Seinfeld on his show. You know, back in the nineties. Right. Right. Absolutely. Uh, yes, let's just let's just say he is the barbecue equivalent of the soup man. Oh, okay. You know what? Understandable. Understandable. And guys, that's just the first episode when we move to Quibi. And oh my goodness, guys, I sincerely cannot wait for you guys to see like the people we're going to be bringing on. Like it, it has me excited more than anything else. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. How are you, dare you going to leave us high and dry? Well, I came here for a reason to drop this last video. One, to let you guys know, but to also make sure you guys are able to hop along for the ride. Because obviously, I would not be here without you guys. So, if you sign up for Quibi today... Download on your app. Whenever you sign up for it, if you go to, to checkout, you can put in code April Fools to get a free year subscription of Quibi, free on me. Okay, yep, yep. At, at, at this point, if you guys don't know, this is the April Fools joke of the day. Um, <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. We're staying on YouTube. Quibi is obviously not a thing. We all know what happened to Quibi. If not, look it up. It's really not that deep of a history. It lasted for like a year, maybe two, and then died a miserable death. We're not moving to any other video platform. We're staying where we are. Major thank you to Space Pirate K for providing a phenomenal impersonation of Patrick Warburton. Uh, Link in the description below. Check him out. Show him some love. And as, you know, a way of saying thank you for trudging through this little prank that i got going on here here's a teaser for this week's episode of the postmodern art podcast kicking off amateur april with the wonderful Corey beepington they are a tv headed animator leading the charge at closed circuit studios for the indie animated psychological horror slash dramedy please stay tuned welcome to the podcast Corey beepington you make me sound a lot cooler than i actually am <laughs> I think you're cool, okay? Like, just in our little conversation alone, I think you're cool, okay? (laughs) If you say so.